you know you ain't pissed for this. What's up, with the bitch and girl T, and I am back with another video. And hopefully, as you can see by my background, you girls don't have a shoot video today. Um, I would like to say this is only part one, mostly because I looked in my closet. I said no ma'am um that video would be entirely too long if i put them all in one video but i also felt like since there were a couple people asking me about do you know doing my shoe video i want to show all my shoes so i'm going to go ahead and do that but i would like to say this is my sneaker edition um so i have other shoes i don't always just you know like this sometimes sometimes you don't want to get dolled up um, period it's just not often i like to be comfy i don't care fight me sue me whatever you want to do <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into that. Um, and I'm just gonna tell y'all, you know, what the shoe is, how much it costs roughly. I can tell you your shoe size, so don't quote me. But I am gonna give you a ballpark price. And we're gonna kinda speed through because I also don't want this video to be long. However, I just wanted to tell you guys, like, this is what I got. Um, because I'm super proud of my collection just because shoes mean a lot to me. Mostly because I resell them. Um, so when I get them and I wear them and I don't really care for them no more, you know, I you girl still gonna get most of her money back. Hello, I'm gonna take care of my shoes. Um, but that's another story. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, right here, yeah, I'm gonna bring this in because I feel like y'all need to see this. This is. Hold on, wait. Let them hoes get into it right quick. The Jordan top three ones. Um, this is only the left shoe. If you know about these shoes, or if you don't, you know that the right shoe is the inverse of this, so that is red, and then you know just. A little mix it up um and these are before y'all judge me on prices just know that some shoes are worth it to me just like you have your thing that you'll spend money on i have my thing this is my thing um these roughly run about 650 to 700 um will i say that's how much i spent no um because i don't remember how much these were but they somewhere around that price range um and yeah super cute shoe i've had these for a while and as you can see like you see how they look i don't play um but yeah really love that shoe and now moving on i already know i'm gonna give y'all a second because i already know the reaction to the shoe oh, let's go ahead. Shoes don't like mids um they slept on well they sleep on all mids i have a couple pair of mids just because i don't really care for actually high shoes on me so i went with the mids um but honestly as long as i like a shoe i don't care how it looks to anybody else i like it so these are the new love ones um of course these are mids as i've just said like eight times but uh these roughly run let's see what are these called dang you can't even tell me huh you can't even tell me huh i can't even find it huh y'all i really can't roughly run you about 375 according to stock x however that's a lot of money you shouldn't have slept on them when they came out uh so i think i may have got these for retail price actually because there were so many still in stores um yeah this is this is ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine and you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand This is suede love. Get it, get into it. Um, you rock leather. Mm. Yeah, don't. Mm, I mean, I guess if you if you like that. I'm kidding, y'all. You know I love all shoes, maybe. On to let me let me put the shoe. Let me put the slide on. Hold on, wait. Let them hoes get into it. You telling you telling me this ain't make you cry a little bit when you just seen the shoe? You telling me you ain't shed one tear? One tier. Stop playing with me. Anyways, these are the obsidian ones. Um, and I think the best part about this shoe to me is the cream. Um, I also hate that piece just because it's super hard to find something to wear with it, but it's it's worth it to me. If you can find a cream and a uh what 
what is this columbia blue you know what I, the blue it always gets me and in terms of finding the outfit for these shoes the blue is never like hitting how i need to, how i need it to hit uh and that's my problem so i really stick to the navy blue in this shoe and try to bring that out however i'm gonna throw in a purse and it's, it's gonna cut your head off period um but yeah these are the sitting ones roughly about 425 i can't i don't remember how much i paid these but according to google 425 for these um and this is a leather shoe um i changed the legend style it came with the navy blue laces in here but i really like this columbia blue i feel like it's immaculate so that's what i went ahead and did um now moving on to another mid i'm gonna give you another second to boo me Psych! You done? You feel better about yourself? Okay, these are the pine green mids. Um, I love pine green. The, I love the highs too. But I, like I said, when I got these, I was just like in the mood of not wanting any highs, so I got the mids. These are three thirty. This is a nice shoe. This is also cream. This isn't white. Um, and that was something I didn't know. Or maybe it's like an eggshell. I wouldn't call it a cream. Maybe it's an eggshell because it's just it's just not as bright as a typical white as you can see these are the pine green lows look at me going out of order but i just feel like since i'm doing pine green i might as well um and the funny thing is i used to hate lows like hate them but once i seen i got the black toes and i'll show you those in a second i was just like i need like i need these um so that's what i went ahead and did so like i said 330 for these uh the low pine greens are only 172 so if you're looking for a not too pricey shoe go ahead and get the lows and you style them and you profile them and you make them hate on me i mean don't they're gonna hate regardless but you make them love you You know what let's manifest that we're gonna turn the hate into love make them love you um so yeah those, that's how much those were moving on to the other lows since i'm already on the subject these are the black toe lows now this is just the colorway the same shoe but in red black and white um i love these y'all like i love those just because it's green and like it, it'll pop it'll pop but this i'm a red black and white girl i don't know why that has always been me will forever be me so i love these and i want to say these were only two, 227 i didn't pay 227 i refuse to believe that but that's how much these are um and I, but i would say they're worth it i love that shoe and i this chair keeps squeaking it's trying to embarrass me anyways on to these bad boys i think this may be the shoe that i've had the longest like out of all my shoes because what i do is like i said i resell really my shoes so a lot of my shoes i had way more than what i actually have now um and my family can attest to that because i just i don't know i love shoes i told y'all i resell them and everything but these have been with me for years like i want to say i got these in high school and i don't think i have another pair that i've had since high school so these are very special me. These are the Jordan Laney ones. Um, I got these because I didn't like, five, I don't like fives on me. To be honest, I don't care for fives, period. Hello, oh my gosh, don't drag me, don't drag me. If you wear fives and they look good on you, I love you for that. Do what you do. They never look good on me, in my opinion, and I just, I never, I had a pair, and that's the thing. I tried to bury that deep in my psyche. Um, yeah, I, I had a pair of fives. I had the grapes, and I regret it. But I do love, I do know I love the black grapes. So if you have the black grapes, I, you look good. Um, I do that. But yeah, these are the Jordan Lady ones. And these are right now 340. But I got these. Did nobody want these? So I got these, I think, at the, the regular price. So I'll tell you how much that was once I look it up. If I didn't look that up, I looked up the real price now. Um, but yeah, moving on. So that's uh now moving on to these. These bad boys. This is the undefeated and Nike collab. Um, that they did a while back and i think i got these when they first released because i was looking for a birthday shoe um now if you was on that birthday trip and you know who i'm talking to one of the best birthday trips i've ever had i need to run it back asap that's not that's not the story for you anyways that's why i got these shoes um and these run this is smooth 480 um according to what's that stock i looked on yeah uh but super cute shoe would i pay 480 for them now probably not um but that's just me if you like them you like them spend money on what you like hello you spend enough money on stuff that you don't really care for because you have to society um on to this baby these are the mark jacobs um joggers 
Oh, look at, on the back. I hope it focuses. Yeah. Um, so these are the jogger um, by Marc Jacobs. These are sneakers, of course. I did not know he made shoes. So I'm recently getting into Marc Jacobs again. Now, I've, beforehand, like in my younger years, I used to love the man. Um, but I kind of, like, he kind of fell off for me. He didn't, it was just me. But, you know, a lot of people are sleep on him because they go to everybody else, like Tory Burch and Michael Kors, da, 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 and I love him too. Don't get me wrong, my closet is filled. Hello. But, Marc Jacobs, I have a bag that'll blow your mind. Because it blew mine. It better blow your mind, or you ain't got no taste. I don't care. Anyways, that shoe there, the whims it's like very much whimsical to me, and I don't really typically do whimsical, so it just kind of it drew me in. I love that shoe, and I plan on getting more of those. Um, of course, in different colorways. Hello. Now, baby. Baby. This is the elephant print foam. Um, it was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. Um, I'm also tell you the price of these. So the price of these joggers, I want to say, are around, uh, okay, so the price of these joggers are $2.95. Now, I want to say when I got them, they were on sale because they only had like a couple sizes left. But I will say, I wouldn't even advise you to look for them because I know they're going to skyrocket the price just because they're not on the site anymore. He must have like ran out and I don't know if he's releasing them later, but as of right now, you cannot buy them. Um... But yeah, I would definitely advise you to go on his website because he has a lot on sale right now because he's low on sizes. So they like one something. They're like 177, which is about the same price as the the pine greens that I showed you. So go ahead and invest in yourself and in your look. Um, moving on, baby, this is elephant print foam, love. Um, the funny thing about this shoe is I don't really wear foams anymore. Um, I didn't like I never really wore them, but I seen the shoe and I was like, I'm on your neck. Don't play with me. Um, just because I feel like my, sh my foot is too big, I love the shoes. But yeah, I love the shoes. And these now are going for $400. Um, I, they may, they were expensive when I got them, but I don't know if they were $400 expensive. They may have been. If so, that means they're holding their value perfectly. Um, yeah, and I haven't really worn these, so if I ever wanted to resell these, your girl is good. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, moving on. I really just want to throw this in here for diversity. This is the Vapor Max, of course, as you know, but the colorway is immaculate. I don't care what you say. That red there, that red is going to do some things to you. Uh, and like, I just really love this shoe. I don't know. These are like some of the most comfortable shoes that I have. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And of course, all foam posits. You stupid. Not foam posits. All Vapor Max run about 190, um, especially for my size. So it's, it's evident I don't have a kid's foot. I am 5'9", love. Kid ah. wear. Stop playing with me. Um, but yeah, that's about it for those. Moving on. A lot of people are sleep on these now. You know these were popular back in the day. But the blazer mids, come on now. Um, these in particular are the mid-77 vintage, and these are only $100. So if you're looking for a cheap shoe um, that's super cute, because, I mean, I regard them as super cute. You don't have to feel the same way. But if you do like them, they're only $100. Um, I have a couple pair, which you'll see in the other videos. Um, and another shoe for diversity, but also because it's that girl as well. The Air Max 95s. Um, and I really want to put this shoe in here just because of the colorway. Stop. Uh, stop playing with me. Um, typically 95s are like 100 and something. So that's what I'll go with on here. Um, if I can find the exact price, I'll put it like somewhere over here so you can see. Now on to our last row, which you can't see, but I can. Hello. Look at me behind the scenes. Ooh, you jealous? Now on to the main event. Now, I know I showed you some nice shoes. I know I showed you some nice shoes. And I'm not going to take away from their beauty. But let me tell you a shoe that I'll put on every day, all day. Uh, don't matter the event. I'm lying about that piece. But look at me still lying. Y'all thought I changed? I didn't. Oh, uh, let me, I got to get comfy to tell you about this shoe. This shoe deserves the world. Um, This is the Adidas Azuigo. And it's only, I got this shoe for, I want to say, $45 from the St. Augustine outlet. Um, and I still think about that day and I cry because it was such a great day for me. This shoe, 10 out of 10, um, I have a couple pair of these, which you'll see in the following, you know, parts of the video. But you telling me you looked at this shoe and, and didn't say yes immediately? Girl, find somebody else a lot too. Um, this is a 
the shoe can't nobody tell me about. I don't care. Uh, this is Adidas best shoe, Yeezys included. And I got a, I got what, two pair of Yeezys? Either way, I'm about this one. I get active, little baby, ma'am, missus. I get active for real. What'd it say? Some regular war for it, yeah. Um, and my last two pairs of shoes, y'all, for today at least, of course. Um, here we go, here we go. These are the Adidas EQT Gazelle. Um, and I mean, I'm just showing all these together because it's the same shoe, different colorway. I, this is giving me very much lunch lady. Okay, let me tell you, it can be cute. This is, this is one that like grew on me. Um, cause it does give me very much lunch lady, but ain't nothing wrong with that. Hello. I feel like I'll be serving. You, you get it? I know you got that. Cause I said lunch lady. If you have to explain it's not funny. But this, this is a very cute shoe. Um, at times. This colorway is what sold me on this one. Um, just because pink shoe when can you go wrong with that one um i actually i've seen that done i've seen that done i've seen some pink shoes and i wonder why um but they just did their thing here um but that concludes today's video i know it's kind of quick or maybe it was kind of long i don't know we'll see after i finish everything but i didn't want it to be too long um i kind of want to give you a backstory the pricing and the name of it but i also didn't want to drag it out um so with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was informational um, I'll be back with my other parts. Can't tell you when because lugging all this stuff here, I hate it. It's not for me. It's not for me. I don't know if I'm ever doing it again. But, you see the background? Get, my tattoo feeling. Get into it. Um, so yeah, this is when you're going to be trapping it up out of from now on. Um, it was nice seeing y'all. I hope it was nice seeing me. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching though, seriously. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you at the next video. Um, be on time, because last time you was late. I ain't like that. With that being said, cinema out.